It finally happened, boys. We got Mimpats in Hearts of Iron for Vanilla. Yes, just like in Kaiser Redux. I think everybody knows what I'm talking about. Because today, at the request of Arctic, one of my patrons, we are gonna do the secret Senior Hitler Path by playing Argentina with the new DLC enabled. And if you don't know how to do that, dear viewer, I am also gonna show you the way. You basically have to play unhistorical so that Germany goes with oppose Hitler and all you have to do is go down the path, work with the nationalist, all the way down to Guardia Nacional, which you have to do before the Junta takes Berlin. Now, this is a bit weird for me because the German Civil War is gonna start in 70 days with the first focus and this one takes 70 days and after that we have four more 70 days focuses and one 35 day focus which is 315 days which seems like a lot of time for the Junta not to take Berlin it's almost one year I think the German Civil War ends a bit quicker than that so we are gonna see how it's gonna work today as Argentina we are ruled by a generic South American dictator everybody knows this guy in terms of national spirits there is nothing very interesting and this is the entire focus tree it's a bit small it looks kind of pathetic to be honest but either way let's begin the focus tree is gonna sway me with a lot of green numbers and i'm fucking taking the bribe we also have two research slots god damn it just like chile you know man you would think that south american nations will be a little bit more advanced than this at this time as argentina we start with 15 factories i don't think this number changed from before the update usually when countries receive dlcs they get a little bit more factories usually but not in this case apparently we also start by producing planes which is weird don't even know if i should let them be well i guess can't be that bad and that's about it i think oh sure we have no resources classic this is a reminder to subscribe. I am trying to hit 50k until the end of this year. So please click that button if you want to help me. Also, you can look at the links in the description. I have a Patreon there, which you can join for only $1. That was it, gamers. Back to the video. Oh, nice. We got it first try. With my luck, I thought I would have to restart like three times to get the German Civil War in unhistorical. We also got a new leader that has some weird democratic ideas. That's not gonna last because we're gonna work with the nationalist. And let's hire a guy that gives us fascist support. Oh, this is our last dictator. What are you doing here, buddy? Was this really a peaceful transfer of power? This seems kind of strange. Okay, there is nothing too good here. But having two separate separate fascist demagogues says a lot about your country. Let's hire Ezekiel. Only three focuses deep and I already love this focus tree. We get to cut ties with the British. Amazing and we also get a lot of green numbers for that. It's a win win win. Uh, this is strange. Berlin already fell and uh, I did not get to the focus I needed. But I still got a bright event. A strange visitor. And we got Senior Hitler. Look at him. Also got an achievement for that. You know what? Love him or hate him. And I do hope you fucking hate him. Men got some drip. You can't argue against that. A big chunk of my advisors left the country. Can't really blame them. Let's get the silent workhorse next. Oh, look, and we also got the secret mini tree. Fourth times the charm. We will be known as the Fourth Reich. We get war goals on all non-fascist nations in South America and course on all former German states. We get reactors and rockets for free and get a ship. Nothing too crazy. Oh, look. We can get rid of corruption in 35 days. I don't want to inflate this guy's ego too much. But what other politician got rid of corruption in 35 days? I'm listening. <laughs> maybe maybe she shouldn't have done that joke. It may, <laughs> it may get me cancelled in like two years or something like that. Okay, I think I will do a little detour and get my third research slot. Getting some meals and some units in the meantime. This focus Argentina first may be one of the best army experience focuses in the whole entire game we will get 0.2 percent daily this is insane i'm already getting 
0.32 per day. So I'm gonna have a full doctrine by 39 probably. And now it is time to proclaim the fourth Reich. And I'm gonna claim Uruguay first. They already have the industry I had in the beginning of the game. And I'm still afraid to attack Paraguay after what they did to me the last game. I will never recover mentally from this. And we are now black. Nothing wrong with that. And let's do some industry now. And declare war on Uruguay. Oh, wait. This focus was the one that gave me the war goals. My bad. Hopefully... Uruguay is gonna get some more factories in the meantime. Oh, well, this is gonna make things simpler. Where did you get that idea from, little buddy? Seems kind of out of nowhere. It's actually hilarious how easy it is to kill Uruguay and how diligently the Leviathan known as Paraguay defends his homeland. They might only have seven divisions, but they are deadly. Trust me. Okay, I think I hyped this shit up too much. <laughs> because the Paraguayans actually suck this time. I don't know what the fuck happened, man. The game is just trying to humiliate me again. Please watch the Chile video when I took out Paraguay. It was insane. I'm doing all this and I also forgot to use my army experience. So now I push even harder. Also took out Chile pretty easily. It's never a big hustle when your whole goddamn country looks like a slim gym and Bolivia will be next. Hopefully nobody will help them to not be next. Oh yeah, wait. The allies no longer exist. Germany went fucking democratic. The UK went with the king. The Soviets have a civil war and Italy is doing its own thing. Also, it's time to invent support equipment in 1939. My divisions are pure firepower. No other support at all. Just finished the focus. South American unity and we became the South America Legionaria. And I can finally integrate some territories. Good thing I banked some political power. We have 10 million non-core population. And I think I'm gonna take down Brazil next. They are a little stronger than I am, but not with that much. Okay, I think we are ready to attack Brazil. They are not guaranteed by anyone. I have two full armies who look like this. And I cord all the territory that I have. Except this little fucking island. I cannot core this. It bothers me so goddamn much. Although it's just 7k people. So anyway, let's declare war on Brazil. Oh, they're attacking. That's nice. Okay, they lost. Let's counterattack now. They shouldn't be that big of a challenge anymore. Oh, yeah, this makes sense. This is why we were advancing so goddamn slow. I swear to fucking god, man. This game is so stupid. Yeah, of course we need 20. 26 divisions on this jungle tile. Nah, no need to confirm with the higher ups. Just do it. Finally getting my fortress result by the way. And I just remember I have this useless guy here, so let's switch him up for something better. The only problem is that there isn't really anything better. Let's get this damage to garrison guy, although I don't really have any garrisons right now. But it should be useful in the future. Well, the Brazilians are not that good. They are at 71% and they lost 10 times the men. And after a couple months, half a million men and a lot of walking through the jungle, Brazil is down. For some reason, Peru got this state. Is this an impassable terrain? Yeah, it fucking is. This is so stupid. Anyway, Peru is next. I didn't got a war goal on them because they are not fascist. So it's gonna take 125 days. It's more than enough time to build a couple supply hubs. Oh, we have one right here. It's not connected to anything though. That's kind of strange. Okay, Peru is a little bit tougher to kill in 1942. They have a lot of divisions and 90% uh, of their country is fucking mountains. So I already lost 100k men while not paying attention. I'm trying to break this one tile but it's very difficult and they just keep reinforcing it from here somehow because I don't see any other divisions moving but maybe that's a bug it could also be that a visual bug uh, something very weird is going on in Europe First of all, the Spanish Empire is a thing, led by nobody. This branch of my focus tree was never available because 
the original defense council never spawned so i got cucked out of those two focuses i could have got the spanish colonies portugal is the same color as the spanish but they are democratic germany cooped italy and they are now a kingdom somehow they formed the central european alliance and poland inherited the italian league and they are the only one in the faction and at war with the soviets and romania that looks like this and is also at war with the german faction romania is communist by the way and i lied to you guys germany went fucking communist i don't think i ever seen them going communist oh they are at war with the soviets okay two communist factions at war with each other and they fucking cored austria while being communist by the way the uk formed the great britain coalition france has the government of national defense oh the italian league grew bigger it got spain and switzerland well at least they have some italians in it now turkey has the anti-bolshevik accord they are are also fucking communist everybody's communist this game look at this shit well there's actually not that many <laughs> never mind okay but we are not finished because the north american alliance is also a thing and i think that's just canada and australia we also have the commonwealth of nations and the southwest pacific initiative because australia has a civil war i don't think i've seen this many factions in the game for a long time and i still can't kill per by the way i'm still stuck so i'm gonna pull troops off the border okay finally i took out peru just in time because mexico declared war on me i'm so glad they're not in any faction that's actually amazing we have a bit of trouble canada just guaranteed probably everything that is democratic and i have war goals on well i need to go through the north american alliance anyway to get to mexico so might as well ah uh, well, it seems like I'm not gonna get to Mexico this game. Oh yeah, sure, they are democratic, led by Mr. Generico. How fitting. Let's try to get military access from the US and let's maybe try to help them kill Mexico. I might get some war score. Okay, I killed everything, including Mexico. I only have Venezuela left to annex, but Canada will not declare war on the US, so I still cannot take them down. I think I might try a naval invasion. I got 70% of the war participation, by the way. The Soviets are getting boned, by the way, and we have a new faction, the Pan-Slavic Workers' Congress, because this wasn't enough factions. And it looks like we are gonna have a smooth landing. Oh, Venezuela is dead. Don't mind that. Okay, and now I can walk all those divisions into Canada. Even without breaking any international laws. This is amazing. The Soviets own Alaska. What the fuck? Did they sold it back? Yeah, they fucking did. I, I get where this comes from, Stalin, but don't you think you have more pressing issues than buying fucking Alaska? Just, just wondering. Anyway, let's kill Canada. Also, I have 300 factories, of which 100 are military. I am producing heavy shit, but I don't have any steel, so I am trading a lot. I am trading like 30 factories already. Oh boy, invading Canada is so goddamn lame. You have to walk all the way to Vancouver while they are at 99%, which sucks even more. That's why you never let Canada become a major, boys. It's already 1945 and I didn't even touch germany also big belgium is a thing and poland got that commonwealth thing cranked up to 100 there are also 25 nations inside the borders of greater romania what the fuck even is this shit why the fuck are there two bulgarias wasn't one enough what the fuck happened to turkey by the way how did greece took this but not this i'm i'm not gonna question it further there we fucking go uh why is the us not in the pistol is it because they weren't at war with canada so everything is just mine whoa this is amazing <laughs> who needs player-led conferences we have player-led conferences at home the goddamn bug okay i'm gonna pop it Canada. Should I satellite Quebec? No, I'm not gonna do that. I am not that evil. But I'm gonna take all the Canadian industry and resources. Because they couldn't shut the fuck up and stay put while I conquer the Americas. Alright, this is nice. I got a lot more land to incorporate now for some fucked 
top reason I cannot core Central America except Guatemala. I was able to core Guatemala, but only Guatemala. Can't even core Mexico. This shit sucks. I can core the islands though. Oh, look, the Dominican Republic formed a nation. The new Hispaniola thing. Good for them. Too bad that it's not gonna last. I just declared war on Germany, which is at war with the entire fucking planet. They also just declared war on Poland. And it seems like I am really not that needed here. Those guys are taking care of it pretty nice. There are three majors in the faction though. Germany and Italy are pretty easy to defeat, but I will need to naval invade Japan. Also got military access from the Soviets. And now I'm waiting for my troops to get there. Germany is almost down, 71%. I also got most of it, which is nice, because I core everything. Now I have 151 million core population, and I still didn't finish integrating all of South America, now I'm done. This is a big Czechoslovakia. Ethiopia is a monster, they are going for the Crusader Kings 4 achievement, I think. And I can't really invade Japan, because for some reason I only have range in literally 3 tiles. Which is very weird if you ask me. I don't know why this is happening. But let's try to invade here. Oh, I finally got some steel. Thank God. South America pretty much has every single resource you need, except steel. You only have some steel in Brazil and Chile, and that's it. The micromanaging here is so obnoxious. I think I lost around 40 divisions, maybe. I have 700k casualties, because my troops get encircled everywhere. Because there are like 3 divisions on every single front. Just... Just look at this mess. This literally looks like a nightmare. Oh my fucking god. The USA invaded the British occupation zone. And they are giving the territory to Germany. This is bad. I think it's okay. They are not getting the tiles back after I took them, okay? And I still cannot invade Japan because I don't have enough navy. Oh, right. Most of my navy just died. Look at it. Oh my fucking god. 80 ships have died. I don't like this. This is actually the worst thing that happened in this campaign. Ah, uh, well, better get building. I haven't researched a single navy technology by the way, so this is fun. And above all that, I only have 12% war participation, which fucking sucks. The US is just about to kill the UK, which is amazing because that would mean one less dog in this peace conference to carve up my territory. I cannot push in Manchuria at all because there is no supply and because I'm not in the faction with the USSR I cannot build supply myself. My shipbuilding is going up really slow so this is also gonna take a hot minute and I almost cleaned up all of Europe. I only have Iberia left to clean and the new home of Germany. They still have almost 200 divisions and they only control this kind of weird. Man, this Czechoslovakia migrated a lot. I don't think I ever seen Czechoslovakia this far from home. I almost cleaned up everything in Europe. Oh yeah, the UK capitulated. And this is what the Americans did with it. This UK is free. The middle of it went to Germany. The original UK is still alive. And the Union of Britain is also a thing. Oh yeah, and Ireland is back on the map. Good for them. My subject Canada went into a civil war because of the British decisions. And now this is all there is left of it. America took two states and the rest is for Germany for some reason. What the fuck is going on in China? What the fuck is this? I, I don't think I want to know. Okay, everything that I was at war with on the mainland is pretty much dealt with. Also took out Manchuria finally. China white pissed with Japan, which kind of sucks because I want to invade from Korea because there is better supply here. But we are gonna have to do the job with Vladivostok. I have 536 ships and it's still not fucking enough to get superiority over the 100 Japanese ships in this zone. I hate how navy works. Finally we have a naval invasion. I hope it's not gonna fail. Oh, the Japanese have pretty much no divisions, that's nice. It might be over. I only have 40% of the worst core though, so I hope I won't get much border gore. Thanks god we landed. No resistance at all. 
This war is finally over. Oh, 46%. Okay, I can work with this. First of all, we need all the core German territory. Let's also get the rest of the Germans. Why not? The Polish corridor. Luxembourg and Belgium. Why not? Can I even get the checks? Yep. Okay, I have a lot of war scores, so it's fine. And I've been contested everywhere. Nice. Okay, here we have it. I managed to get all of Germany, Belgium, most of Poland, all of Italy, most of Scandinavia. I tried to get Bulgaria, but it didn't really work out. I only got half. And a Japanese puppet. So I say we are looking pretty good. The only thing that upsets me is that we are not called the Fourth Reich. But we fucking did it, boys. This was Senior Hitler in action. I cannot core anything else. This is how my cores look like together with Germany. I also got... Guyana and Belize in the war, but I couldn't get them because the Soviets puppet them. So uh, yeah, we have almost 200 million core population in 1948. Bunch of factories didn't really build much of those after 45, I think. And uh, yeah, this path was quite fun. Pretty OP. I beg you guys, don't look at the Balkans. It's not worth it. You're gonna get a brain tumor the instant you lay eyes on this. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to leave a like and maybe a subscribe, you know. And as always, I would like to thank my Patreons for supporting me every single month and making me play things like this. Flossy, Tommy Leawan, Arctic Siege, A Devante, Thunder, Grongwex, Windows Mistake Edition, Gatelicor, Jack M, Erika Mennerheim, Neil Class, and K64. And until next time, don't forget, Egypt is rightful Soviet territory. Bye bye.